up there in my father's house in my father's house in my father's house sweet communion up there in my father's house there is Good morning, Hoosier Memorial, and our live stream viewing audience. Our inspirational nugget for the upcoming week is entitled, Balance in Life. Our scripture lesson comes from Mark, the fourth chapter, and the 24th verse. Let us listen, my Christian friends, for the reading and hearing of God's word. Pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given and you will receive even more. There is always balance in life. What we receive unfailingly depends on what we give. It is true of a study of the Bible. We often feel that there are certain parts of the Bible we cannot relate to. If, however, we study these parts. They are often the sections that yield the richest harvest for us. A superficial study of any topic doesn't really interest us, while intensive study always excites and fascinates all of us. It is especially true of worship. The more we bring to the house of the Lord in worship, the more we get out of it. There are wrong ways in which we go to the house of the Lord as well. We might go only to receive. It is then that we criticize the organist, the choir, and the preacher. We see the whole service as a performance that is presented to entertain us. No, we must be willing to give we must remember that worship is a cooperative act. It is also wrong to go to church without any expectations at all. It might just be a custom in our lives. Then we go without expecting anything. The result of habit or routine. We should remember, my friends, that we go to church to meet with God. And when that happens, anything can happen. We may also go without preparing our thoughts and our hearts. Often we are in such a rush simply to get there in time. We need to meet God in prayer before going to church and asking for God's blessings on our gathering. C.S. Lewis said, the perfect church service would be one we were almost unaware of. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for moments of worship where we are blessed by meeting with God. Amen. Come on, who's your join us? Are you still, are you glad you're still here today? Had my share of heartaches, but I'm still here 
Yeah. 